The Thermarest Z Lite is a really interesting kind of compromise in sleeping pad technology. You can see that it has a 3D texture on it that allows lots of little air pockets, which really kind of serve two purposes. One is that the foam can be thinner, which makes it lighter and still feel like it's a little thicker because of all of this 3D structure that deforms when you lay on it. The other is that these little air pockets on either side trap warm air and increase the insulation value ever so slightly. Now, this is not a you know, super thick insulated winter pad. I mean, you're going to get less than an R2 rating out of it, but at least it's better than nothing. It's great for sleeping on the ground in the summer if your back can handle using a thin foam pad like this. What's great about it? Number one, let's say you're outfitting someone like a scout who goes camping and backpacking but isn't real attentive to their gear and you're afraid to send them with an inflatable sleeping pad. They're not going to break this one. You know, an inflatable sleeping pad, they can pop it and get a hole in it that they're unable to patch when they're in the field. That's not going to happen with this. I, I mean, yes, you can destroy one, but you've got to work real hard to destroy a foam pad like this. It does pack up a little bit. It's still kind of bulky. we got a little space here to take up in a pack. A lot of people will fasten them to the outside of the pack, or depending on what kind of pack you have, if you have uh, one of the ultralight packs... There are some that are literally designed to take this where you'll slide it right down in the pack and it becomes the frame of the pack. So that works out pretty well. If you need a pad to sit on to make your, you know, a tree or a rock or the ground more comfortable and to keep the dirt off your pants, just fold it in half like this. Now you have a nice seat pad. I actually, a few years ago, I used one of these for a while. I mean, I got a few hundred miles on a setup where I just took two sections here, you know, one and two, and cut it off. This was my seat pad, and then the rest of it was my sleeping pad, because I didn't care if my feet hung off a little bit while I was sleeping. 